Hello and welcome back to another tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make a villager for Minecraft. So um, we're going to start with the head. We'll see if we'll get into the rigging in this in this episode. In this in part one, but we'll, we'll see. So um, to start off with uh, create a box. So go to create geometry standard perimeters box and just create it and then change the length to 20 width to 20 and height to 25 and let's just center it to so just change all to zero so it's complete center so there you go that's the that's what our head's gonna look like so um, first we need to create another box Box and in the modify uh, under parameters, change them to three, five, five, and then with the align tool, which is at the top, align it to the head, move it forward so it's at the front. Um, Rotate it so uh, with the rotation tool, stripe side the move tool, with a uh, angle snap toggle on. So this magnet symbol underneath, in, underneath customize, and just rotate it 90 degrees. Now it's up to you. You could have the eye. This is what the eye is going to look like. So you might want to keep it square. It's up to you. I've gone with a rectangle shape. So when you've done that, you need to. Get into position. Try and get it as close as you can to where you think it should be. And after you've done that, um, go to modify list. After after you've made sure it's in the position you want it to be, um, go to modify list and find mirror. and add that and then press the little plus sign beside the mirror in the modifier list and click mirror center and then align with, with that select the mirror center uh, use the align tool and align to the head so now it should be right in the center of the head and tick copy which should be in the parameters and then convert to so right click convert to editable poly and then that's pretty much the eyes done so from the left view or right view press the L button um, we're going to imprint them into the head so uh, you need to change it to how far you want to go back so it's going to be more about preference but I'm going to put about there it should be about right so now we've done that we'll first create the, the area where the mouth's going to be so create a plane and in the modifier um, tab change the length to 15 and width to 5 and then again using the align tool align to the head and uh, position it where it should be and press F if you want to go into the front view and P to go back into perspective and just position that where you believe you want the mouth to go so this should be an OK location so after you've done that and you've got that into the right location you may want to move the eyes down a bit 
His eyes are quite close to the mouth. So after you've done that, create a box and change the the length to 15 and width to 5. Oh, oh, and also in the plane, go back to the plane, uh, and change the segments to 5 and 4. So that length segments are 5 and width is 4, so you get this kind of pattern. So back to the, the box, um, change actually change the length to 5 width to 15 and again align to the plane set the head and uh, rotate it if you have to which you might and then we're going to use this box to indent it for the mouth so put it back far as you think it needs to be. So I believe that's about right. And now select the the head, go to create geometry and under the drop down box go to compound objects and choose Pro Boolean and start picking And now you should have indents where we need them. Move the plane forward. Don't move it out of position, but you can move it forward. So now, as you can see, we've got the holes we need for the head. So now that we've done that, we move on to the eyelids and the teeth. So go to standard primitives, create a box and align it to the head move forward change the width to 15, we're going to do the teeth first now with the with the um, Steve Minecraft, the, the, the human Minecraft um, character, the teeth were flat, but it's probably best to have them that are as a 3D shape, just in case they're looking at such an angle that they can actually see that they're flat. So, what you're going to want to do is just change that to about 0 0.5 move them down there and you're going to want to change the segments in the, in the height to 2 so length segs 1, width segs 1, height segs segments 2 so that it looks like that and then just hold down shift in, in the z-axis, just move it up to the top. And if you really want to, at this point, you could change the colors with the right side, the, with them selected and change the white. That's, that's up to you. So now you've done that. We have the teeth. You're going to want to do the eyelids now, which you want to get a plane. Then align it to the head. Forward. Rotate it. Now with the eyelids, to make sure that they're definitely right size, change. Make sure you change the uh, the eye length to the same as it was for the eyes. Maybe slightly more. So I'm going to go 5.5, 3.5. And just just make that about center. So you can get it. 
and then change the just change the segments to one and then change the change the length sex to two. So that now you've got two halves. So now that you've done that done that, uh right click and convert to editable poly. And then under the selection, go to the polygon, which is the 2D red square, and select the top face. And under Edit Geometry, click Detach, and press OK. And then select both of the eyelids, and in the front view, if you want to make sure they're best, just bring them over. And that's pretty much it. You may want to move them forward a bit. So now, to the right side. Now, before you go on, you should definitely name everything. So, the eyelids are going to be connected to the head. So, choose the head. And as you can see, it's pro boolean now, but we're done with that. So, we can just right click. Convert to Elta Poly and rename it. So I'm going to rename mine Villager Head. And under Edit Geometry, uh, click Attach and attach the eyelids and also the teeth. So turning them white wasn't really required, I guess. So now you've done that, you're probably wondering how am I going to select the eyelids now that they're attached? Well, if you go into the elements under selection right beside the polygon or face or face selection one, the the 3D red square, you could see now that we could select any of these because they're it may have attached them, but they're separate elements, so that they are now. So you could select the teeth if you want it inside the object. They're still connected to it, and move them around. So now that we've done that, you may want to move them down. Just leave them for now. Now they're they're added. So now what you're going to want to do is probably move the plane into position. So from the side view. Move it as close as you can to perfect, like that, from the side view. So now it's pretty much identical to that. So now that you've done that, you're going to want to right click and convert to Elder Poly. And then in the selection, faces, so the 2D red square, select the four, the six faces and press delete. So now you've only got an outline. And now you can pretty much just like the the Steve rig, you can just move them around and manipulate them to be the way you want them to. So for now, I'm just going to move them in the vertex selection with the scale tool just just move them so that they're slightly more so now that we've done that we've got the basic geometry of the head we'll also create the box the the the, the uh, eyebrow so just create a box and in the modify tab under parameters uh, change it to length 15 wait no length 1 width 15 height 2 and just move and then align it to the head uh, you may want to choose the current object to center to center instead of pivot points. 
It's up to you. Just really get used to that tool, it's very good. And then position it where you believe it should be. Um, change the segments so that so that length seg segments are one, width segments is two, and height segments is one. You could have it just all one, but uh, you may want to add some sort of extra um, extra motion to make it so that you could move the the eyebrow up in the middle, a bit like that. You could add a bit more motion to it. So now I've done that, we now create the the nose. So create a box and under parameters change the length to four, change the width to four, change the height to ten, and then align it again to the head and just move it forward. You may want to change the, the all this you can change if you want. I'm gonna rotate mine 108 degrees. You may want to change the width and height. You may want to move the eyes. If you if you if you decide to move the eyes before you start doing all the rigging for the well, for the reaction manager and that and you, you decide the the um the eyes and all that are too far apart or something. You can just go into vertex mode and select the eye, all the vertexes around the eye, and just move that around. Also, ignore these t these two lines that have, or three lines that have appeared. They're they're only there because no matter what, there has to be something attaching it to the entire object. So these, when we indented the object, there has to be something connected to it, or else it wouldn't work. But they shouldn't become an issue. So. Just position this where you think it should be. You may want to change the pivot. Which you could do under hierarchy and change the and under effect pivot only. You can now move the uh, pivot anywhere you want. Probably move it about here. And now you can move the object. if you wanted to. So pretty much I'm going to stop it right there because if we go on to the reaction manager, it's either going to be the reaction manager or the or the UV mapping, probably the reaction manager next, which is best to get all that done in one episode. Um, so uh, in one tutorial then having it's split up. So, so the next one we'll have reaction manager, control panel, and then we'll start doing the the body and all that, which shouldn't be too difficult. So uh thanks for watching. If you got any questions leave it in the in the comment section. If you like the video like it and share it and if you didn't like it dislike it. Um, subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. So, uh, thanks for watching.